<laughs> what? What? How? Tonic. How old were you when you first started smoking weed? Oh, I was 15 years old. Oh shit! Yeah. You get there's a good uh, weed in Iran. In, in Iran? Good well, weed? We have a good hashish. Oh. We have a good hashish and good opium. One of the best in the world. Were you ever stoned um, in any of your matches in WWF? No, I, I usually do after match, uh, not before match. After match, sometimes a special occasion. Uh, Tough match, I'll do a little bit before me. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember, uh, did, did you ever fight Hulk Hogan while you were stoned? Many times. While you were stoned? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Did Hulk Hogan smoke weed? Probably not, huh? No way. Yeah, he do everything. HDC, look at his body. That body Hulk Hogan have. That's not for a normal body, just a tassel, tack of whatever agency. Oh, oh, for sure, but do you, so he wasn't a, did he smoke weed a lot or not really? Uh, he do something better than weed. <laughs> <laughs> Ecstasy? Ecstasy, uh, snort coke, whatever you need. Tack of tassel, everything, agency. Agency is the best. <laughs> you sold out all your shirts, man, that sucks. What happened? You don't you have no more shirts? shirts? You sold shirts? all your t-shirts at Comic-Con. Right, yeah. Uh, you buy it? No, I, did, I wanted a book? shirt and An they were sold out. Book? No, it was sold no. out, right. Wow, that, that could be big. No, it's, yeah. yeah hey, no, Eddie, how should it bounce like, over? They own that shit, huh? They own that shit, but they, they don't own that shit because it's like, he is it, right? Yeah. It's, like he's, it's not like, it, it's he is. What, the old they, matches, they, you mean? We're making a movie on him right now, actually, and they've given us permission to... To use his name and likeness, but on anyone else's request, because I'm because we're related, I'm his nephew. Um, he, people are, it's like the toughest process ever. I had to get him to call because they would have turned me down. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Eddie, dude, Sawtell, Culver City, like, dude, just what? What am I? What's this? You're gonna hit the freeway coming up. Just get in the middle lane and then look for 405 South, and we're there. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we're, I, we're, we're right at the airport right now, basically. Iron Sheik, um, would you say you smoke weed every day, twice a week? Once a week, how often do you smoke? It depends. Uh, I used to do three days. Uh, I take three days off. Three days, my training days, I smoke weed and opium and a little bit of shit so I get energy, so I can hit the gym, so I can have a power on, so I can have a good workout. Usually three days off, three times uh, I, I smoke and work out and training. Did you ever eat and smoke so much where you just had the munchies and you keep eating and it's... Well, you just snatch it. Yeah. Anytime you smoke a good weed, that make you give um, you munchie. Yeah. And you want to eat and you want to go training. And sometimes that's why I say I eat and training and get size. Yeah. When did you first... Who came up with the I'm camel clutch? Out. Do you remember how you came up with it? The day you came up with it? The camel well, clutch? Well, that camel clutch was, was my cousin from Detroit and... Uh, um, my old cousin Sheik, and he showed me about the camel crash. I learned from him. Oh, you learned from your uncle, right? Who was a, he? Was a wrestler too, right? And did he did he teach you wrestling too? Exactly. Right. Oh, nice. Is he still alive? No, he passed away. Oh, so he he got, but he got he was around to see you uh, make his move famous, right? Exactly. Wow, Shit. amazing. So he must have got front row seats all the time, huh? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Must have been a trip for him to watch his move get so huge. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably one of the most famous fucking moves on the planet. Yeah. Exactly. Come on, everybody knows the camel clutch. My mom knows what the camel clutch yeah. is. She don't know shit about jujitsu. Wow. That's the freeway. I think I just fucking. She. What do you think of Gene LaBelle? Gene LaBelle is a good old timer from California. He's one of the greatest uh, men, and uh, uh, he's all right. Yeah, we like Gene. Have, have you ever been to Amsterdam to smoke weed? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you go over there, you order, and they bring it for you. Yeah. And the last time I did it was in Toronto, Canada, and uh, Megan boys take me to the special place, and then we had a smoke and uh, uh, tea and um, dinner. It was interesting. It just remind me, you right? Where's your, where's the best weed at? Out of uh, the whole world you've been to, where is the best weed? Hawaii. 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 Hmm. Maui, Hawaii, yeah. Maui, Waui, huh? Right. Nice. And you know, in California, we have over a thousand, or in LA County, we have over a thousand 
uh, weed dispensaries, like stores where you could buy it. Have you ever tried to go inside one of those places? That way I saw it, and as a matter of fact, they have a convention in the Las Vegas a couple of weeks ago, uh, Street the Jew, and uh, Megan Bush booked me with the Street the Jew, and Street the Jew had a good um, uh, uh, marijuana, and then I've been in a private room. I had a great time with them, yes. Nice. Would you ever would you ever no, sleep straight. in a bed with the straight. outside warrior? Oh, I was gonna hop on the four oh, Okay, you're good, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm would you ever get, sleep no, in a bed with the ultimate warrior? Straight, would you ever would you ever make love to the ultimate warrior? Go for it man, go. It's better if you go straight, trust me. Okay. You're good. I'm just trying to go the fastest way. Yeah, this is the fastest way. We're almost we're right there. Yeah, no, I know where they are. Hey, hey, Sheik, would you ever have sex with the Ultimate Warrior? Fuck the Ultimate Warrior, and fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You should have slept with him. That's because you were in your fucking show. No, I didn't say that. Eddie said that. Yeah, no, we're, we're almost, we're basically we're almost there. there. Is it true that you put on his face paint one night because you were lonely? Fuck you. Fuck you too, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you really his nephew? Yeah. Ask him. That's yeah. his nephew? That's <laughs> funny. We're his, we're his publicist's nephews. Remember that we just—he's a, a part of our entourage. It's an airport, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So you're not, worried about getting to that airport? Yeah, no, because no, no, see, if I miss that plane, I'll be in trouble. No, no, no see, you panic too much. No, you're there. You're fine. You, but, but you, what you, you, you get in trouble when you get home? If you're late, if you miss your flight, you're fucked, huh? Not but, really, you, you but I never missed in my plane in my life. See, recently. I'm handicapped. I have to get the wheelchair and yeah, the yeah, slow. You're right. But actually, that just speeds up the process, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. You want to get to the front of the line? Right. There. Uh, I only think I have to get a boarding pass and a wheelchair that way. Uh, and then I'll be all right. Yeah, you're fine. You'll have time to get a beer still. Right. I get a beer in the plan. What What pro wrestler did you know did the most coke? Ooh, that's easy. What do you think? I mean, that's not easy. Then. Hulk Hogan? I don't want to mention, but uh, <laughs> some of them make them between ten to fifteen thousand dollar a week, and then uh, they can afford it to do that. That's because uh, some of them young pass away because uh, uh, overdose, and uh, and uh, uh, they don't know how to handle it sometimes. But the key is the moderation for everything. So, yes. Here's a, here's a, here's a, a better question. He doesn't want you to tell on anybody, but tell us about Jake Roberts. Oh, oh, that Javroni. That Jake the Snake? Yeah, mm -hmm. Jake the Snake, that Javroni is uh, uh, too much, Baba, and uh, uh, he don't know how to stop. And uh, uh, and uh, still, um, uh, if you if you have money, he can do it 24 hours without a stop. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have money though. Who's making? They, got, they were making 10, 15 grand a week back then. Before, yeah, but even right now, top men make a. Uh, uh, they are millionaires, they make a lot of money, but I, the new generation usually they don't do that because they have a test uh, in the WWE you now. And uh, if somebody do not pass the test, they fire him. Steroid test? For a story, Anko. What? In pro wrestling, they get tests? Right. That's really? <laughs> like, why would they test? <laughs> Don't, don't you want dudes nice and big? And <laughs> they do the same testing um, process as NFL. And, yeah. Why, do they get some sort of tax break for being exactly. athletes or well, I'm something? I'm sure there's something behind it, but uh, ever, ever since Chris Benoit died, or killed his wife. God, exactly. Tell about Chris Benoit. You're right oh. here. Oh! Not get in the right lane? Then we're good. Yeah, I know. Chris Benoit, huh? Who was, who was the most, the, that had the best submissions out of everybody, besides you? 